Okay, we got the swamp. Things are coming up Millhouse. Uh, get in there, buddy. It may be your only purpose in life is to block a dragon lord servant. That's so sad. Mostly run standard? Yeah, um I did uh I did play mostly constructed for a long time. Like um maybe the last four years I was a mostly standard player and then in the last uh two years or so I picked up modern and then I sold all my paper cards and decided to start uh, streaming and YouTubing. Uh, built mono red standard deck and have been playing a whole lot of limited. And I have a lot of fun with it. Okay. Um, back to the matter at hand. We have a 2-4. We have a morph. Is Rage Form better than Fierce Invocation here? I think it probably is. I don't think we attack here. It could just be that Summit Prowler is the call. That's the... Oh, okay, we can't play Fierce Invocation, so that solves that. Uh, I feel like uh, Rage Form has too much downside. Like, if we Rage Form our Ugin, that's a serious bummer. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, Brink. That, yeah, like a. Playing online is a relatively uh, recent switch for me. Uh, that's. I'm going to go ahead and say that's why I uh, you see all the players kind of popping up here and there. But, um, you know, like I said, I, I, uh, I played paper, and I came to love magic, playing paper magic. But I live in a small town, and I have a job, so online is just where it's at. And I really like uh, streaming. Oh! Oh! God dang. Alright. We're just getting our shit pushed in this draft. <laughs> oh, gosh. Streaming and YouTubing. Yeah. Um, and I, I was motivated to make that change. Um, yeah, he's just killing all our stuff. I was motivated to make that change by uh, the fact that I wanted to get better at magic and I am a big fan of, uh, you know, kind of the, uh, the limited resources mentality, you could say, that, uh, gosh, that felt good. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of magic uh, strategies and you know, just all dragons all the time. Now we see the dragon deck in action. A fully armed and operational dragon deck. Anyway, I lost track of what I was saying because this dragon deck is filling my eyes with stars <laughs> and my heart with terror. Um, I don't want to rage for my Ugin. This is, yeah, I didn't consider that Manifest really goes down in value. Okay, that's a mountain. That's fine. 4-4 four, four mountain. Perfectly alright. So now we're only taking 4 per turn. And we can Kindled Fury kill his morph, perhaps. Maybe we're, well, we'll see. Yeah. So I switched online uh, to stream and to record for YouTube and to help other Magic players try and play better and help myself, you know, 
yeah, this probably is not going to work. Partly by, you know, what we're doing here, just talking and bouncing ideas off of each other. Uh, okay, so Kindled Fury still, still does the trick. Yeah. Take that, Bowmasters. We're still not in great shape. Um, Ugin. We could draw Ugin. We rage form. Eh. Wasn't going to kill. him anyway. I think we could have gotten Gorswine. Oh no, we could have gotten anything. That's pretty good. Summon Prowler, Gorswine. Frick. I would have liked to have had that roast. Not that I could roast that, but... Yeah. Alright. Got us. I mean, this might be correct uh, for a dragon deck, you know, um, which clearly it is. I think I like, uh, where's Rage Form? Yeah, I think I like Fierce Invocation. No, other way around. We haven't seen Crater Elemental, uh, Dragon Fodder is just that to his deck, um, I guess there's no reason to take out the Invocation, he doesn't have any Rending Volleyable threats. Does he have anything we want to duress? No, mostly just dragons. <laughs> Run dragons, that's what our opponent is doing. Not crazy about that, but we'll keep it. I mean, if we get a land, we have hand into Hardened Berserker. I mean, it's an okay curve. And we don't have to worry about manifesting Ugin. So, I'm sold. <laughs> Equipping a spider silk net onto a death toucher might be big game. Yes, we just want to see more land. even um, like attack <laughs> on 
and seven lands. Attack with our hardened berserker and play Ugin. Seems mediocre. If that. No, actually, nothing that ends with play Ugin is going to be mediocre. I take it back. I think we go uh, Rage Form over some EP here. Do we offer any trades? Do we gain anything by making things one cheaper? So we've got four mana. We can equip else. Yeah, no. We don't do anything, but we play Rage Form. And then uh, a double striker, or first striker? No, a double striker deals quite nicely with either of his attackers here. And what did we Rage Form? A Swamp? That's fine. So we attack with Berserker, we play Gore Swine for two. Seems alright. <clears throat> and we get his huge frickin' guy out of here. And then we draw four more lands, and we're in business. The business of killing. No! Frickin' roast. Roast this. Spock, with your... I was gonna say Hannah Ship's Navigator, but that's some kind of angel. Oh. Archangel Radiant. I assume is how you pronounce that. That's weird. Is this... No? It's not Faden, comma, Dak? That is strange. Alright. Back to the game. <laughs> we did not draw a land, which is a bummer. So I think we... Some EP. And draw lands. Drawing lands is the plan. We have plans, we don't have lands. Show us what you got. With your morphing ass. Blood. An elk herd. That's okay. Yeah. Don't be a removal spell. Good. Although, we also wanted lands. We aren't terribly worried about his guys getting trampled. Our guys are... Eh, well, our toughness is lower than our power. He's probably going... No, he's not doing nothing. He's not doing nothing! Alright. Uh, I think just the uh, 
gore swine. No. The sure shot's a better play here. Because then we get potential value. Ah, probably no value off of playing gore swine. That's fine. Man, this board state is, eh, it's not the worst. It's definitely clogged. We're just playing the four power deck, apparently. And the fact that we could equip Spider Silk Net and, ooh, Vault Breaker, another one that I could have used and would have played gladly. Whenever it attacks, yeah, that's pretty good. Make him into a 4 6. we are probably going to get in with our swamp. This is the conservative play, because he can go, like, any number of double blocks, but then we get to kill the Elk Herd, or the Vault Breaker. Because um, blocking with the two morphs doesn't do it. So I think that's correct. The other option is to go full swing, in which case he you know, has very, he has good blocks, so, yeah, we'll do it this way. I mean, there are a myriad of options in between there of, like, I'll swing with this, I won't swing with this, do -do 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 -do. but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I'm more of an all-or-nothing type of player. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we just killed the elk. Mm, no, I think we killed the fault breaker. No, I think we killed the elk. I mean, he probably has cards that he wants to discard, but... Yeah, I'm not worried. And we got rid of the elk. For a fierce invocation. We're fine with all of our guys still eat all of his guys and vice versa so we just need two lands and we're a lock <laughs> yep yep I don't know Ugin versus uh, versus blue eyes I think I gotta give it to Ugin we'll just minus uh, 10 him or whatever. <laughs> Minus 6 him. Hey, douse. We like that. Alright. Uh, so we, do we douse the morph or do we douse the vault breaker? Probably the morph, right? No. Probably the vault breaker. The 
threat, you know. So we're just, uh, we're banking on you getting here. Excellent. So do we swing with a boar or something? I think so. I think if we can start to thin down his board, that's what we want to do, because then we can start devoting Ugin activations to killing him when we get our our last land. Okay, he is... there's something going on with these face-down morphs. He's valuing them very highly. Or he, you know, suspects I had the kindled fury. <laughs> Worst. Okay. You have a 4 5 reach, I have a 4 5 reach. What are we doing? So good. Sure shot. Really uh, clutch in these like grindy creature battles. Gotta say. Gotta give it to the sure shot because now we're going to get in. He's got something to save the Bowmaster. Oh, yeah. Pretty good jukes. Did he pay too much? So they just bounce off of each other after all. But this guy does become a 5-6 post-combat, which is troublesome. Uh, using Ugin is a minus 4 loyalty board wipe is really um, appealing right now. <laughs> uh, so we're basically going to attack with Berserker and threaten to kill to trade with anything he walks with. And if not, we're getting in for five and it's coming back to our hand. So it's actually fairly synergistic with Ugin and exiling creep permanents with colors. Eh, not that it's going to make the trip this time.
some counters. Try and get your nickel back. Nope. It's just just a dead guy. Gosh, deck, just give me one land. Here comes a main deck defiant ogre. He's gonna destroy my spider silk net. Net. Why? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Is a 4 6 good? Yeah. I didn't do anything. Uh, so yeah, we're not making the best decisions here. Trying to cast our Ugin desperately. <laughs> Maybe taking Ugin out of the deck was the correct sideboard decision. Ah, uh, that's nice. Let's see if he wants to trade. Trade, oh no. Hang on, so we know that uh, okay, so we're going to get in for four here. And then slam Ugin on minus six. That's a little rough. Or slam Ugin on minus four, which is better, because that leaves our Marshall Kiz Ogre. cast with flash interesting okay so Ugin on minus five you know what I don't even care that we probably lose to the clock I just wanted to slam Ugin and I got to all right spicy So he kills Ugin, but then, um, yeah, I don't know what then. <laughs> At least we got to cast him. Hey, here's the guy who went hard on Collected Company. Tell me you got more than a Dragon Lord Servant out of that. Ugh, oh, that is rough. Damn. Very good draw. Let's remind ourselves what it does. So we can just give it 8 power. Make it an 8-6. This is a 4-6. 8-6 kills that. Seems 
looks good. Yes, please and thank you. Oh no, we don't have formidable. Ah, I'm not a smart man. Okay, um, I guess we just do this. Probably not the best. Uh, we're not good. Not particularly good. Okay, but we can get rid of the ogre. And then, yeah. Stonewall, his pumped up servant. Exactly as planned. Nice top deck. That was a hell, 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 hell of a top deck. <laughs> yeah, anyway, you do damage. So I take five here. Oh my gosh. Mountain, definitely not one of the potential live draws. All right, well, it was a good match, but I don't think that that is a premature concession. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why people reveal their hands. But there you go. If you want to see my mountain, that's fine. All right, uh, check ya next time on Drafting the Cosmos. All right, now. We'll be back for round three. Hopefully get a pack out of this fiasco. All right, Brink Hunting. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, hit subscribe. Hopefully we can do it again sometime. Or follow on Twitch. And head over to the YouTube if you get a chance. Catch you later. And I'm going to take a little break as well. And we will be back on the stream for match three. All right, catch you all later.